Hola, y bienvenido de nuevo al canal. Здравствуйте, y добро пожаловать снова на канал. Konnichiwa, chanere ni mata okoshita daki, arigato gozaimasu. Hallo, und willkommen zurück im Kanal. Bonjour, y bienvenue sur la chaîne. Hello, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. Today we're going to compare two different text-to-speech technologies that aren't 11 Labs, that you can run on your own computer, and will allow you to create multilingual audio in your voice or anybody else's you can clone. And then we're going to take it a step further and turn that audio into a multilingual video with your face or someone else's. And to do all of this, we're going to be playing with three tools, Applio, Kits, and FaceFusion. Applio and Kits are the two voice cloning and voice conversion technologies that we're going to compare in the text-to-speech arena specifically, and then we'll use FaceFusion to take that multilingual audio and lip sync it to your video. I've done videos on all of these pieces of software, and if you want a deeper dive into any of them, you can check out those videos. I'll leave links in the description. But let's just take a look at Applio and Kits and do a quick comparison here. Applio is free. Kits has a free tier, but it is basically a charge program if you want to do some of the more advanced things. Both Applio and Kits allow you to train your own voice models within the interface, and they both offer the ability to convert voices. Kits comes with a stable of voices, plus you can train your own voices and upload other models that you've created in programs like Applio or other RVC compatible programs. Applio is where you'd create one of those models, but then of course you have the ability to load any other RVC models into this interface as well. Now the program does a lot of things that we're not going to cover. They both do actually. Today we're focusing specifically on text-to-speech. The way each of them handle it is a little bit different. With Applio, you're going to choose the voice that you want to use for the clone. In my case, I'm going to do one called Bob Doyle High Energy, and, and we're going to use the same model and kit so we can do a fair comparison. Applio takes the text that you type and then applies a pre-trained model with various languages and genders attached to it, and then creates an audio file out of that using different text-to-speech technology. Then it takes the audio file that was created by that process and then converts it to the voice of your choice. It's a two-step process. You only have to do one thing. Kits doesn't work that way. It doesn't need to generate that interim file. It just takes what you type in and uses your model and creates a converted audio file. So let's compare the quality of the two using the same model and the same text. So for the text on this one, I'm just going to use a couple of paragraphs of a meditation audio. So I'm just going to paste that into Applio here. Let us begin by finding a comfortable position. You get the idea. Before we get into the multilingual stuff, let's just see what it does in English. So if I'm going to convert my voice, which is English and American, I need to choose one of these text-to-speech models that matches that. So I'm going to scroll down. The first two letters here are the language that you're speaking in. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says English. And the second two letters are the country of origin. So Canada, China, India. We want to go down to English US and choose a male voice. And we'll just see how that works. I also have the option of uploading a text file rather than pasting something in here. Then all I need to do is click convert. All right, let's check it out. Let us begin by finding a comfortable position, sitting or lying down, in a place where you feel at ease. It's kind of, that's not bad. Gently close your eyes and take a deep, slow breath in. Okay, it's not bad. It sounds like a natural read. The voice doesn't sound quite like me, like I know that this model can. So we might want to look at the advanced settings and see if maybe we can tweak something here. My sense is it feels a little bit high for my voice, so I'm going to take the pitch and I'm going to bring it down just like a couple of semitones and see what happens. Let us begin by finding a comfortable position, sitting or lying down in a place where you feel at ease. Close. So now let's try kits. We're going to select the same voice, the Bob High Energy. Text-to-speech, we're just going to take this exact same text, paste it in here. I know from experience that medium is a good pitch choice here. And then we want to make sure the language is English. And then click Convert. You'll notice it takes a bit longer to convert these files over at kits than it does at Applio. Let's listen. Let us begin by finding a comfortable position, sitting or lying down in a place where you feel at ease. Yeah, so let's listen again to the Applio version. Gently close your eyes and take a deep, slow breath in. And now this one again. Gently close your eyes and take a deep, slow breath in. So that definitely feels a little bit high. So let's put the pitch on low and convert again. Let us begin by finding a comfortable position, sitting or lying down, in a place where you feel at ease. Gently close your eyes and take a deep, slow breath in. It's not bad. Definitely sounds better at the lower pitch still doesn't sound exactly like me. 
But when we get into the multilingual aspect of things, it's a little bit more forgiving because I'm used to hearing myself in English all the time, so I can nitpick every little frequency. But when it's in another language, it's harder for me to tell. So how do we use this in a multilingual way? First of all, we need to translate this text into a different language. So I'm just going to copy that and just go right over to Google Translate, paste that in, and we may as well start with Japanese. That's what's come up right here. I'm just going to select the first part of it here, copy it. We'll start over here in Applio. Now, because this is Japanese, I want to choose a text-to-speech voice model that is from Japan that, that also speaks Japanese. We've got these two here. I don't really know which one of those might be male, so I'm just going to choose one and click on convert. That definitely sounds high, so I could either use the advanced settings to lower the pitch or try the other model, which is what I'm going to do first. Click convert. That sounds pretty good, and it sounds enough like me that it would pass. All right, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to take this over into Kits. Make sure I choose Japanese here so it has the best chance of matching it. I'll put it back on medium for now and click convert. And listen to this one. All right, so that's a little lower than this one defaults to. I'm going to click low again here, click convert, see if that makes a difference. I realized I still had the pitch lowered over here on Applio, so let me put it back up to default where it was. Let's go ahead and just choose another language just for fun. We'll go back to Google Translate and we'll just choose German this time. Copy, paste it over here, and we may as well just paste it over here as well. So here we're going to want to choose a German model. I'm assuming that's DE. We will check Conrad and we will click convert. Beginnen wir damit, eine bequeme Position einzunehmen, sitzend oder liegend, an einem Ort, an dem Sie sich wohlfühlen. I think that's pretty freaking great. We're going to go back over here, do the same thing. Beginnen wir damit, eine bequeme Position einzunehmen, sitzend oder liegend, an einem Ort, an dem Sie sich wohlfühlen. So it's hard to tell since I don't speak the language which one's better. Beginnen wir damit, eine bequeme Position einzunehmen, sitzend oder liegend, an einem Ort, an dem Sie sich wohlfühlen. If you speak or understand German, I would really love for you to tell me how those sound. Do they sound conversational? Do you think that one sounds better than the other? Let's do one more translation. We'll choose French. We'll copy that first paragraph again. Go back over here. We'll paste it. Go back over here. We'll paste it here too. We will choose a French voice. Henri, click convert. Commençons par trouver une position confortable, assise ou allongée. All right, let's listen to what Kits does. Commençons par trouver une position confortable, assise ou allongée. Dans un endroit où vous vous sentez à l'aise. They both sound good to me. Of course, I don't speak French, and it's harder for me to distinguish the differences in my voice quality when I can't understand the language. So again, if you speak and understand French, I'd love your opinion on these things. Now you understand how you can use both of these technologies to create these translated audio files. But just to be clear, you can use Applio to train any voice you want. So you can just drag the PTH and index files, that are the model files created by Applio, drag them right into kits, and now you can use them in this platform as well. That way, you can compare the two text-to-speech technologies and see for yourself which one you think is the most realistic. So now the fun stuff, let's do some lip sync. And to do that, we're going to use Face Fusion. Now at its core, Face Fusion is a face swapping program, and they've recently added the ability to do the lip sync. But the face swapping, pretty simple. You just take a target video, the one you want to put the swapped face on, and then you just drag any face into the source up here, and in just seconds, you'll see that the face is replaced. I have options to enhance the quality of the face, and I will do that every time, because it makes a big difference. And for this example, I used a face that I generated myself in Prome AI, so we don't have any sort of licensing issues. I used Christoph Waltz as the prompt. He's an actor, just in case you don't know. But I just wanted to create a face that was clearly being swapped in our example. So we've got that face swap. And then what if we want to add lip sync? Well, the process is a little bit different but we need a file to lip sync first. So we now we just created all those files in these programs. I'm going to go back over here to my conversions and just check out this last one here. Commençons par trouver une position confortable. As yeah, so that's the French read. So I like that one. I'm going to download it. Then I'm going to drag that audio and drop it into the same directory with these other files. 
my target video, along with the face that I'm gonna swap in. Just popping in from the future, what I'm about to tell you is a mistake, which I fix later. So to do lip sync, we change things up here a little bit. I'm gonna actually unclick all of those, and I'm gonna click them in the order that I want the process done. So first, I want it to swap the face. Then I want it to lip sync, and then I want it to enhance the face. In this directory, I have both the audio file, the French audio file, and then let me clear this out because this isn't the target video I wanna use. I've created a video that I've called Meditation, and you'll notice when I play it, I've got 20 second seconds of me not moving my mouth. Because if I'm moving my mouth and then I try to do a lip sync over that, if the words don't mesh up, you're gonna get some weirdnesses. It does a lot better job if the face isn't doing any sort of talking. But I'm just trying to move around in a natural way as if I was talking so that the lip movement can just be superimposed and it's not fighting with any lip movement that I have going on. So we've got that video, so that's our target video. Now we're gonna choose both the audio file and then do a control click on the face file that we want switched. We're going to drag both of those up into this area here and drop them. So now we have the face here that we're gonna swap and we have the audio file. Commençons par trouver une position. Right there, and that's all we need to do. We just click start and then we wait. When you've got lip sync and when you've got Face enhancement, this process can take a little bit of time. I'm not talking hours, but you know, a couple of minutes. And it will take longer if I don't activate the hardware acceleration in my system. So I'm gonna click CUDA here. I'm gonna bring this execution thread count up to about 40. Don't ask me where that number comes from. I got it from somebody else. Now I'm gonna click start and the process will go a lot faster. Still a couple of minutes because this is a 30 second video. The audio file that we're using is 23 seconds and the video target file is 27 seconds. We are at just over a minute and a half right now in processing time. You'll notice that it is an HD video file and we're running at 60 frames per second. Now, normally for a demonstration like this, I'm gonna take the video and I squish it down. I'm gonna make it 30 frames a second so we can get through this quickly. But I'd rather show you the high quality that this is capable of producing if you're willing just to wait. And while we're waiting, I guess I should have mentioned that I really just went with the defaults here. You can change to different face enhancer models. You can change to different face swapper models. Right now, there's only the one wave to lip GAN lip synchro model. I know there is a lot to look at here on this screen, a lot of controls, a lot of settings, and it can seem a little overwhelming, but truly the default settings will work for you very well most of the time. So we're at about four minutes right now. I'm running Face Fusion from Pinocchio, so I can check the activity in the server and see that we've, we're done processing the swapping and now we're doing the lip syncing. We're about 95% through with the lip syncing, and then the next thing we'll have to run through is the face enhancement. So as soon as this process is done, then we'll go through it all again for the face enhancement. That's going pretty fast. Any second now, we should be done. And there it is. Let's go full screen and click go. Uh -oh. Position confortable, assise ou allongé. Whoa, 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 what the? That's not at all what I wanted. Why didn't that work? If that didn't work, that means I put these in the wrong order somehow. So let me undo this, undo this, undo this. So I'm gonna do the face swapper first, then do the lip syncer, then do the face enhancement. What I should have done was scroll through this and preview the mouth and make sure that there is movement happening. You can see there is mouth movement happening there, so this time it should work. So now we get to sit through that again. Checking in on the server again, we are just over halfway through the lip sync part. Looks like it's estimating around 30 seconds left, processing about 12 frames per second. All right, and now we are in the face enhancer part, and we know from before that goes pretty fast, although this time the face enhancer is going slower, probably because it has stuff to do. Last time the face was just sitting there because I screwed up. A minute left, 30 seconds. Okay, so it finished the whole thing in 482 seconds. Let's check it out. Commençons par trouver une position confortable, assise ou allongée dans un endroit où vous vous sentez à l'aise. Fermez doucement les yeux et inspirez profondément et lentement. Expirez lentement, permettant à toute tension de se dissiper. Pendant que vous continuez à respirer profondément, concentrez votre attention sur votre respiration la force vitale qui circule en vous. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty stinking good. Then you just rinse and repeat with the other audio files in the other languages. That's the basic principle. I know I didn't go too in depth to the ins and outs of all these pieces of software, including walking through the installation process. All of that's fairly easy for all of these programs and I've provided links to the pages where you can get all this stuff in the description below. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know I'm constantly updating my music AI videos and a Face Fusion in-depth deep dive is way overdue and is coming. 
If this kind of creative use of AI is of interest to you and you want to learn more and you like tutorials and demos like this, then please subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...